Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk Movies. If you are new here, please like and subscribe for future content and up-to-date news. So, coming out of Fanther Tracks, supposedly there is a brand new third untitled Star Wars TV series currently that is going to go into production later this year. So, Obviously, currently we have the Mandarin and the Cast and Andor series, and which are both going to be streaming on Disney's brand new uh, streaming service, Disney Plus, which I'm still a bit optimistic about. But again, if I see things I may like, I may get it just for that. But again, that would be paying into Disney's pockets, so I may just look for them online or whatever. But uh, so yeah, so coming out of Fanta Tracks. They have, tonight, we can reveal that the third, as yet, unannounced Star Wars TV series will be shot in the United Kingdom under the production name of Series 3 Productions UK Limited. This was registered on the public UK company's register on the 12th of October 2018. We anticipate that the focal point of the series will be revealed at Star Wars Celebration in April. So... With that, they do go on, say, obviously, the most recent rumours that uh, there is a couple of people that this could focus on. Remember, we've had things saying that this could be an Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, TV series, which could be six episodes. There could be a young Princess Leia, a Captain Phasma, Knights of Ren, Rose Tico, and, of course, Darth Bane. Out of all of these, I would absolutely love to see a series following Knights of Ren. I'd love to see one of Captain Phasma, to be honest with you, because she was such a cool, badass character, which, again, in The Last Jedi, sadly, she was just taken out like a chump. A bit like how Boba Fett was taken out like a chump in Return of the Jedi back in 83. But, again, even Darth Bane. To be honest with you, out of all of those series, a young Princess Leia and Rose Tico, they wouldn't exactly be exhilarating episodes, Mostly because we know how Princess Leia has gone. We know, obviously, that when she was giving away and everything else. And, obviously, when she uh, when she got a little bit older, she was captured by Darth Vader, etc. Uh, Rose Tico. I'm not hating, hating on, on Rose, but I don't think it'd be good enough for a TV series just on her own. If it followed her and her sister, like beforehand, maybe that could be worth something. But then again, obviously, when you look at every, when you look at all the people who are supposedly involved, Darth Bane or the Knights of Ren would be the best ones to focus on. Mostly because, obviously, with Darth Bane, he's got such a rich and complicated history. Obviously, in the ancient and legendary Sith Lord. Or, again, if you think about, well, if you look at the Knights of Ren, they could literally go on however they want to. You know, it could be before, you know, just as they are when they just start out as the Knights of Ren. Or it could be in between and when, obviously, in between Episode 7 and Episode 9. If they don't show up in Episode 9. Which I'm pretty sure they will because we've had a couple of rumours. But again, you know, you got Darth Bane. It's just... it's just, I would just love to see Darth Bane up on the screen. It would be absolutely incredible. You know, it's, uh, you know, just one of his quotes... Two, there should be no more, no less. One to embody power, the other to crave it. You know, that is absolutely incredible. Obviously, he died a thousand years before the Clone Wars. So, again, he was the one who created the rule of two, mandating that there could only be two Sith, a master and an apprentice at any given time. And just for that alone, you know, it, he could be the one. You could see how the Sith Lords, how they came about, and oh my god, it would just be incredible. You know, obviously, you know, during the Old Republic, you know, the Dark Ages, you know, they were obviously fueled by their own individual lust for power. So I'm reading this from uh, Wikipedia. Obviously, Sith turning against their own and all this kind of, you know, you could have that. You could have the Jedi-Sith war. It could be about that. It's just so much that uh, Darth Bane could go for because obviously it's such a rich mythology just for, just for that one character alone. You know, it'd be absolutely incredible. I'd love it, to be honest with you, if it was Darth Bane. Again, Knights of Ren, like I just like I said before, that'd be fantastic. 
Captain Phasma as well, because, you know, she just looked cool as well. You know, a bit like how, obviously, Boba Fett looked cool, but he got took out like a chump, but so did uh, Captain Phasma. And, again, we've had uh, Ewan McGregor. He's actually come out saying he'd love to stand on Obi-Wan Kenobi TV series. And, again, you could have that set between Episode 3 and Episode 4, and, while well, obviously not during the Clone Wars or whatever, he could just be on his own path. You know, for when he actually goes on to Tatooine. That'd be incredible. I'd love it. So, there's what we have by there. If you are new, please like and subscribe to the channel. For future updates, click that notification bell and we'll see you soon.